In Jeff Herbach's young adult novel, Stupid Fast, 2011, 15-year-old Felton Reinstein undergoes a profound transformation as he navigates puberty, transitioning from a nerd to an athlete. However, his journey is complex, as he grapples with his mother's escalating mental health challenges. Felton's childhood was marked by bullying and teasing, exacerbated by the traumatic death of his father by suicide. As he enters adolescence, Felton undergoes a remarkable physical change, growing both in size and speed. He joins the football team, finds camaraderie with new jock friends, and embarks on a romantic relationship with Alea, a talented and intelligent girlfriend. Despite the apparent positivity in his life, Felton's home environment takes a toll on his emotional well-being. Living with his single mother, Jerry, and younger brother, Andrew, Felton continues to carry the burden of his father's death. Jerry's behavior becomes increasingly erratic, causing strain within the family. Felton's relationship with his mother becomes strained, and he starts to distance himself from her and his brother. Jerry becomes concerned about Felton's isolation and potential depression, especially as he spends most of his time in his basement bedroom, sleeping and watching TV. When Felton is tasked with taking over Gus's paper route for the summer, he meets Alea Jennings, a black teenage piano prodigy, and her father, Ronald, who are renting Gus's house. Felton's life takes a new turn as he develops a connection with Alea, and their feelings for each other deepen. However, as the story unfolds, Felton must confront not only the challenges of growing up and forming relationships, but also the profound impact of his family's history on his present circumstances. At the pool one day, Felton has an encounter with Cody Frederick, who persuades him to join the football team. Aware of Felton's impressive running speed, Cody believes that Felton's addition would make the team unbeatable. Seeking companionship, Felton agrees to Cody's proposal. He becomes involved in weightlifting with Cody and the team, finding enjoyment in the activity. However, Ken Johnson, the coach's son and a high school graduate, ridicules Felton, leading to feelings of insecurity. As Felton's relationship with his mother, Jerry, grows strained, she becomes increasingly distant and unpredictable in her behavior. She comments on Felton's resemblance to his father and unexpectedly uses harsh language toward him. After a visit from Alea and her father Ronald, Felton becomes hopeful that he and Alea are in a romantic relationship. However, a negative response from his friend Gus makes Felton believe that their friendship has ended. When Felton wakes up one day, he discovers that Jerry has disappeared. With Andrew, Felton's younger brother, they find Jerry asleep in her car outside Alea's home, with a bottle of wine nearby. Jerry's mental state continues to deteriorate as she increasingly relies on alcohol. She forbids Andrew from playing the piano and becomes withdrawn, spending most of her time crying and watching television. Andrew's behavior takes a concerning turn as well, as he burns his possessions in a bonfire and adopts a more aggressive attitude. Determined to seek answers about their father, Stephen, Andrew confronts Jerry. Meanwhile, Felton's physique transforms and he embraces a more robust and aggressive persona. He struggles to manage his anger and frustrations, even lashing out at Andrew. Seeking refuge from the turmoil at home, Felton engages in physical activities like weightlifting, biking on his father's old bike, and running up a hill called the Mound. These activities offer him solace and a sense of tranquility. Despite this, Felton keeps his struggles hidden from Alea and Cody. Amid rising tensions, Ken Johnson's jealousy prompts him to injure Felton during a weightlifting session, causing Felton to hurt his back. After a confrontation with Andrew, Felton recognizes the gravity of the situation at home and the need for intervention. The brothers decide to leave home and seek refuge with Alea and her father. Realizing that their family needs help, Felton reaches out to his estranged grandmother, Grandma Burba, for support. Grandma reveals the truth about Felton's father, Stephen, and Jerry's past. It turns out that Stephen got Jerry pregnant during her freshman year of college, leading to pressure for them to marry. Their marriage was tumultuous, marked by Stephen's infidelity, job loss, and eventual suicide following Jerry's decision to divorce him. Felton, who bears a striking resemblance to his father, is overwhelmed with anger towards his dad and the lies that Jerry perpetuated. In a fit of rage, he destroys his dad's bike, prompting a tearful apology from Jerry. Grandma steps in to offer support by moving in with them. As Felton grapples with his emotions, he withdraws from Alea and his friends, disconnecting from his phone and isolating himself in the basement. 
Older kids accuse Felton of faking his injury, leaving trash and mocking notes in his yard. Felton suspects his new friends are responsible for the harassment and decides to ignore their messages. Jerry begins receiving treatment, although it's clear that she'll require inpatient care. During Felton's 16th birthday, Andrew and Alea perform a special duet, helping Felton reconnect with Alea. Cody and his friends surprise Felton with a birthday party, leading Felton to realize he has misjudged them. He also reconciles with Gus. Jerry eventually departs for a mental health facility, leaving behind a single photograph of their father, acknowledging that he wasn't all bad. Felton's football skills improve after studying videos of professional player Walter Payton. During his first game, everyone, except Jerry, who calls to offer her wishes, attends to show their support. When Felton takes the ball, he demonstrates his newfound speed, earning cheers from the crowd. Stupid Fast is the first book in the Felton-Reinstein trilogy, followed by Nothing Special, 2012, where Felton and Gus search for runaway Andrew, and I'm with Stupid, 2013, which follows Felton's journey dealing with college recruitment and relationship challenges. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.